If you want to know how to regulate your periods naturally, even if you have hypothalamic amenorrhea, then this is the video for you. Make sure to subscribe so I can help you get your hormones in harmony and optimize your health. And don't forget to click the bell so you'll be the first to get to see my new videos. Welcome back to the Hormone Healing Show. Today I'm going to show you how to balance your hypothalamus so you have a healthy menstrual cycle. Your hypothalamus controls reproduction, including your periods and your fertility. Your hypothalamus also controls your thyroid, adrenals, and insulin production, which all affect your menstrual cycles. Rather than treating each gland individually, I focus on getting to the root of period problems by treating the hypothalamus. My worst case patient was a young woman with panhypopituitarism, which means she never made any of her own hormones. In fact, she never even started her periods at puberty. She came to me wanting to get off synthetic hormone replacement and use bioidenticals instead. So I switched her to plant-derived thyroid, adrenal, and sex hormones. While she did great on the natural alternatives, I knew we still weren't addressing the root of her hormone problems. In the third hormone healing tip, I'll tell you exactly how she was able to get her periods back without using any hormones. If you follow these three easy hormone healing tips, you're going to regulate your periods naturally. Hormone healing tip number one, maintain a healthy body composition. Your body composition determines your reproduction. It's not your weight. How much body fat compared to your lean body mass regulates your menstrual cycles? Too thin and you won't have a period at all. Too fat and your periods will be irregular. In her reproductive years, a woman needs at least 16% body fat to have healthy sex hormones. A young woman who loses too much weight will stop having periods, a condition called hypothalamic amenorrhea. Your brown fat cells, like those in your hips and thighs, store long-acting estrogen. If you don't have enough body fat, you don't have enough estrogen storage to support fertility, and your hypothalamus stops your periods. You don't have enough fuel for you, let alone a baby. If a woman is over 30% body fat, she may have periods, but her fertility will be compromised. The white fat cells in her belly take over fat metabolism and compromise her estrogen metabolism. She may become insulin resistant and continue to store even more fat, putting her at risk for metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a dangerous inflammatory condition that puts your hypothalamus on high alert, so it shuts down your reproductive ability. It's not safe to have a baby. Maintaining a healthy body composition is key to regulating your menstrual cycles. Hormone healing tip number two, lower your stressors. Stress is the biggest disruptors of periods. I can't tell you how many young women ask for help in regulating their menstrual cycles so they don't get their period on their wedding day or honeymoon. Yet in spite of our best hormonal manipulation, the stress of being a bride will bring on a period. Why? Because stress puts your adrenals on high alert, and your adrenals need progesterone to make the stress hormone cortisol. So it robs progesterone from your ovaries to fuel the fight or flight response. But progesterone is also needed to stabilize the lining of your uterus. Without enough progesterone, the lining sheds and your period comes off schedule when you don't want it. So lower your stress response to save your progesterone and regulate your period. Regular exercise early in the morning helps relieve stress. If you exercise too late in the day, you raise your cortisol levels unnaturally and may compromise your menstrual cycle. Get at least seven to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep in the dark every night. Lack of sleep is a huge stressor on your body, disrupting your normal adrenal function, which will disrupt your periods. Practice meditation and conscious breathing. Meditation has been shown to lower stress. Learning how to breathe deeply and consciously will help you in a stressful situation calm down so you don't allow the stress to dysregulate your periods. Hormone healing tip number three, create healthy hormone connections. So here's the secret to how my patient with panhypopituitaryism, the woman who never had her own periods without taking hormones, started menstruating on her own. I fed her hypothalamus. 
After 18 months of feeding her hypothalamus every day with a super green drink I created, she was able to get off all her hormones. She didn't need thyroid hormone or adrenal hormones. Her insulin resistance reversed, and best of all, she didn't need estrogen or progesterone to have periods. She started having regular periods on her own. So when that happened, I told her that now that she was fertile, if she didn't want to get pregnant, she should use a barrier contraceptive. She just laughed at me. She said that her doctors always told her she was infertile. And guess what? At the age of 43, she had a healthy baby boy. What did I feed her hypothalamus? Genesis Gold. It took 18 months to correct all her hormone imbalances, and once corrected, her hypothalamus deemed it safe to reproduce. If the woman with no hormones can get her periods back and conceive, there's hope for you. Get regular with Genesis Gold. Now you know what to do to regulate your periods, yet it's not easy if the rest of your hormones are out of balance. So I created the Hormone Reboot Training for you to discover how to balance all your hormones naturally. It's free. Just click the link in the description below this video. So what's one thing you're going to do to help your periods? Leave your answer in the comments section below and we'll chat and make sure you sign up for my Hormone Reboot Training. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.